Hey guys, you're watching Boondocking with Dennis. I found some longhorns up here on 188, just out for a drive. It has been flooded on this property for a few weeks. And this is the first time I've caught the longhorns down by the fence in quite a while. This is that ranch that has all the exotic animals as well in another area. But that side where they keep them was really flooded. Just out for a drive today. Continuing my motif of I needed to be out in Texas. <laughs> I am going to get back to the beach in a, in a few videos. We're not far off the coast here. Matter of fact, we're just going to be on the other side of Copano Bay right here. And there's a few little bays like Salt Lake and Port Lake that lead out to Copano Bay. Bayside, Texas is ahead of us. We might take a little ride through there. I'm kind of just out seeing what's going on. Wind has picked up a little bit. I kind of got my wind is cracked, so uh, I, you can see my windshield's cracked occasionally, but the uh, window is windows are also cracked 83 degrees but it doesn't feel like it it must not be as humid today it's just it's just a nice day the sun's come in and out no chance of rain just a little bit overcast if you're new to the channel i live full time in my f-150 with a lear topper no heat in the winter no air conditioning in the summer why because I'm an idiot. <laughs> Do you guys know why ghosts eat health food? Because it's supernatural. <laughs> there you go. Got the dad joke out of the way. I like to throw in a dad joke every video. Doesn't have to be funny. Just has to be a dad joke. I love these little back roads, highways, especially the ones right along the plains, the coastal plains here. You'll cross little bodies of water every once in a while. I haven't been over to Bayside in a few months. Thought we'd take a uh, drive through there. This road goes off the highway and is kind of the main drag through Bayside. We might take a little bit more detailed look look at it. We'll look up the population and all that fun stuff. Get some facts together. I like Bayside. I think if I could buy some property somewhere, it'd be Bayside. Because you're kind of out. There's, I don't know, 250 people in this town. Something like that. It has a little convenience store. It'd just be nice to be in a nice quiet area. It's kind of Texas-y right, right on the bay. They have a fishing pier here. They have a little public park along the water. They really got beat up during Hurricane Harvey. And once we get on some of the side roads, you'll see they're pretty, uh, they're pretty beat up. A lot of pot, uh, pitted streets and uh, actually quite a lot of gravel roads in Bayside, which I actually think is pretty cool. I hope you're all doing well. I hope you're all getting ready for a Memorial Day weekend. Port Aransas is going to be jumping. I'll be doing some videos from there. Rockport will be busy, Rockport Beach. We'll have to do some videos from the beach there as well. I'm going to spend a few nights in Port Aransas. Hopefully the weather will cooperate with all these people. What street is this? Division? Something like that? I know the street because it's... Uh, my buddy lived right off of it down here. 
A lot of the streets here are real narrow. Kind of makes it difficult for two cars to pass. And this road will wrap around and take us right down to the bay. I wish they had a boom docking place over here. Just, uh, you know, I'm surprised there's really not a, oh, there is one RV park, pretty big RV park, actually, at the, uh, kind of the south end of town. We've gone in there in videos before. I was just going to say, I'm surprised there's not an RV park over here because it'd be, be a pretty good spot. Kind of laid back and quiet and wide open. My buddy Greg lived over here in a while for uh, for a while, so we did some videos from here and Bonnie View and St. Mary's, which had that really interesting cemetery. It's uh, right next to Bayside. We went over um, to boat launches at, on the Aransas River. What was the other river? Was it the Mission? I think it was the Mission River. I'd have to look at the videos. When you do two videos a day for five years, you, you kind of get a blur. <laughs> Coming up on two years since I last slept inside. It was, it was in July of 2021. Last time I went to visit Arkansas, I slept inside. And that was the last time I slept inside. I've certainly had opportunities. I, I, I like sleeping in my truck. It's what I'm used to. It's comfortable. Looking forward to hopefully getting on the road in June. It all depends on uh, budget and gas prices. Very nice fishing pier here. Yeah, the last time we were here, that little, uh, I don't know what to call it, cabana bungalow that we just passed wasn't open yet. Now it looks like it's been there for a long time. That fishing pier is free, by the way. And it is handicap accessible. I think an RV park right, right along here would be pretty cool and maybe even bring the city in some money or the town. What do I know? Tell us about how many RV parks you've ran, Dennis. That'd be zero. And how many RVs have you owned? That would be zero. I think government is the only position that requires no experience, right? <laughs> it's a nice little park here. I'll tell you what, though, right along the water here, mosquitoes are thick. I'm doused in... Uh, bug spray and they'll land on me for a second and then take off I got that special Texas smell where you take a shower and put on clean clothes and then douse yourself in uh, DEET I smell like cedar and sadness all at the same time <laughs> this road looks like it was shelled I'm not talking about seashells either I'd much rather drive on a, a gravel road than a potholed road like this. And this isn't like it's in a bad part of town. These are nice houses here. I would imagine the money's just not there in the town budget to, to do the repairs. Kind of reminds me of uh, downtown Rockport. 
Did you guys just hear that bird that landed on my roof and stomped across it? <laughs> I don't think he was too happy that I was driving slow. I know this goes back down along the water. And I know this road will lead us to that uh, RV park I had mentioned. We're kind of heading south in general. My old Ford had a, didn't have a compass, but it would tell you where it was going. Thanks for riding along today, guys. Thanks for watching.